Hello, Shesho. Hi, Tina. How are you? I'm good. Hey, Tell me. I was thinking that uh, should uh, should we check in this uh, meeting now if there would be one more candidate to join this uh, panel next week? Which panel you're talking about? The OA OAC? Yes, <clears throat> because the guy who's uh, uh, organizing <clears throat> he asked me after the nephew event that uh, if I could find one more person uh, okay. I haven't successful I know you are there teams there and then I think somebody uh, from Red Azar, had... Azar is there and David David can see from at and is there yes so for yeah. some reason see the, the guy who organizes he Irfan 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 yes had, he wanted yeah. to get one more who kind of is dealing with nephew I um, asked Bim. Bim's in a different city, so he can't come. Mm. Um, anybody else? Because we I had know. we had a discussion yesterday, and it seemed to be okay because we found the questions to be okay with uh, all the panelists who were there. Okay, then I just will. Um, I will just that that this is mm -hmm. the case. Thinking that you three, you and um, and and him and uh, <coughs> and and the uh, red hat. Guy, mm -hmm. Elena. Yeah. yeah, because I think for, for Nephew, right? Uh, he said that instead again in, in the call, the call Sagar was saying that uh, uh, Tal will be presenting just before our session. Tal will be presenting about Nephew. Okay. So maybe that is the reason why he didn't ask. Again, I don't know. You can check with Irfan if there is a need of it. Maybe we can check. Otherwise yeah, we should be good because yesterday we had a conclusive thing. Almost Sagar and Irfan were also there in the call. Right. Along with, yeah. Except David, everyone was there actually. Yeah. Okay. I will. I mean, if if Tal's presenting right before, then he could just jump on a panel chair if if that's necessary. Yeah. Yeah. That should be fine. That should be really fine. Yeah. yeah anyways, the questions were actually sort of uh, uh, sorted out yesterday, so I think it should be good with that. Yeah. Let's see. All right. Thank you. Yeah. Hi, Tim. Hi, Alexi. Hi, folks. Hey, Sasha. So I, I didn't Hello, know if this was a continuation of the next meeting or not. Is this for the uh, ORAN meeting? Just want to yes, make sir. sure I got the right one. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, actually, yeah. I had a problem because uh, I mean I'm from India and we don't have DST following, right? So I, <laughs> I logged in late last week because I was thinking Europe meeting, and this week I was I wanted to make sure I I, I logged in both at uh, one hour before and now again. Yes, yeah. to be yeah. sure. I, I, I hear you. <laughs> <laughs> I think we're over it now, right? Or at least for another six months, and then we'll go through the same thing again. <laughs> exactly, exactly. I mean, the biggest problem for me is Europe and US will not follow the same time, right? That's one more issue. I know, uh, I know. Uh, our, our God bless our President Bush, right? But what are you going to do? <laughs> <laughs> but if you're on record, huh? <laughs> that's right. We're recording. So there you go. All right. Uh, so we're going to get started, guys, in about two minutes. Um, sure, sure, sure. So, uh, we're still waiting for people to come in. Take some a minute or two. Hey, Seishu, I do have a question for you. There was a request yeah. to give some uh, overview of what uh, OSC and ORAN does with you and Alexis. I think, did you guys come up with a date that you can do that for the group? Oh, we didn't. Uh, maybe, Alexi, you and me can catch, catch up on that. Surely. I, not a problem at all. Yeah, yeah, just pick a, up, uh, pick a day. I, I know that, um, by the way, uh, Sagar can't do it today, so he's going to move it to the 28th. It might make sense if you're able to do it on the 28th. Maybe that might make sense for, you know, for both of them to be done, right? We'll give... So you want it to, to be in the same meeting, right, uh, Tim, just for my clarification? Yeah, yeah, you yeah. yeah. To... yeah, yeah. They, sure. they can sure. be done in the same meeting. There was a request from the group uh, mm -hmm. to, to get some better view of what OSC has done. Uh, what ORAN is doing, and as well as uh, OAI, right? And we were going to have the OAI today, but uh, mm -hmm. uh, Sager was unable to uh, do it. He had a conflict, so. Sure, sure. Sure. I mean, that would be great. Yeah, me and Alexi will, will uh, Alexi, you and me yep. can catch up, and then we will uh, get back to you, team. Okay. Anyways, yep. Alexi, sure. next week, I'll be, I'll be in your time zone. I'll be coming in Eastern time zone. So much better for us to discuss. Okay. Okay, sounds good. 
Okay, so uh, I think let's get started. So again, this is the uh, ORAN, uh, Working Group 2 ORAN meeting. Um, what we have currently on the agenda is um, we're going to go and review the previous notes. Uh, and, and there's some general information just to let you guys know. Uh, Sagar, we're supposed to uh, present some um, OAI information today. Uh, he let me know that he's unable to do that. He's got some conflicting schedule stuff, so I, we're going to shift that to the 28th. Sorry about that, guys. But then we're going to go in and complete, hopefully, guys, complete the uh, the ORAN integration deployment that we discussed. There's been a lot of uh, discussion on that for the past couple of days. I think we've come to a consensus, but we'll make sure of that for right now for release three. Uh, and then I think if we have time, hopefully today we can start uh, beginning discussion on the objectives of what we want to accomplish in release three, so we can state that uh, that this is what we're going to accomplish, right? Um, so that's everything that I have on the agenda for today. Does anyone have anything else that they feel that they need to add? One, one, one small thing, actually. I mean, again, it's a, uh, it's a small thing. You can put ATM PST there. <laughs> oh, sure. I just Otherwise... do Pacific time. <laughs> I, I do, I do, I do Pacific time because. It yeah, just I know, depends I know, on I what know. day it is, right? <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> because this is the problem for me. I was putting on Eastern time sometimes and I found out not I, specific. I just did the lazy thing that everyone else does. So, but I'll be glad to change that every time. <laughs> okay. Thanks, Woody. No sure. All right. Anything else for the agenda? All right. So let's go through uh, just real quick. Let's get an approval of last week's. Uh, so this was the last week's notes. Does anyone have any changes to the notes that they need to add? If not, I would ask for approval. All right, I don't see anything in chat, so I'm just going to note it as approved the minutes. That architecture diagram will, will uh, you can just help me to understand it once. I was missing last meeting because of IMC, as I said. Yeah. Maybe we can take it offline to uh, anything. Yeah, well, We'll we'll go through the architecture diagram today because sure, that's sure. one of the major things. So you'll be able to catch up. Sure. So, sure, sure, thanks. Mm -hmm. uh, sure. All right. The other thing that I'd let you let you guys know just real quick before we get into it um, uh, is I did. Uh, there was a network architecture meeting that they have on every Monday. Uh, we did a review of the working group too. And I let them know that, you know, if you remember last week, we said, hey, look, we're going to get to uh, uh, certain artifacts to the network architecture team on December 1st. And we're going to have some certain artifacts that we're going to provide to the network automation team by January 31st. So I let the network architecture team know that. So uh, just to let you know that I let them know. <laughs> um, Okay, so where we're at right now, uh, again, we're going to move Sa Sagar's um, presentation to the 28th. Uh, so where we're at right now is we're talking about the ORAN architecture, particularly what we're focusing on is what that would look like for release three. And again, there's been a lot of a um, lot of uh, discussion around this. I'm trying to get to the. How do you make this top thing go away? Drives me crazy. All right, so this is what we've been talking about, right? And so we've been in this uh, deployment architecture, uh, the high level of the architecture for Nephio, and, and we've got this situation now where um, uh, where we're looking at the, how to take the SMO and the RAN and the O cloud elements, and what does it look like when we want to um, enable uh, these deployment and management of these O RAN NFs in uh, using the Nephio uh, capabilities, right? And so we started with we started with this diagram uh, of there's certain things that could be modified with Bocom, certain things with NFO. Uh, we know that we want to have certain clustering uh, uh, setup capabilities that uh, offer certain Nephio capabilities. And so Wim and Ravi and uh, Alexis, there's a long discussion on the on the Slack line that says, okay. We want to try to, I think, if we look at the ORAN deployment, uh, there's probably three deployment models that we want to go through. And I don't know if that's, let's do this at 100 and see what we got. Okay. Yep. So uh, so there's three deployment models that they were looking at that that we think that uh, makes sense for this uh, SMO and OCLOT. And, and Alexis, I mean, you're, you're, you're willing to talking about this with, um, 
with with whim. So I'll leave it to you if it's okay. If you can go through it, I know Ravi, you had some questions, so I'll try to moderate. Uh, you know, the people raising their hands and uh, chatting. But if you can go through what you're thinking of that is, uh, and let yep. people know what you're doing. <clears throat> sure, I'll go through it. So maybe we, instead of going through text, let's just go to slide five and then six and seven. Uh, and I'll explain uh, the high level of each of these slides, how they differentiate to each other. Do you want me to share, Tim? Or, okay, you good? Sorry, that's right. up to you. That's up to you. I don't care. I was, no, just no, moving, that's... I was moving the agendas over so I could take notes. Okay, so um, that's, I think, um, the architecture diagram that we broadly discussed the most, where we landed on the fact that with an SMO, we could have a nephew management cluster where some of the nephew function could be used to realize FOCOM and NFO. Um, the northbound APIs of FOCOM and NFO remains the ORAN uh, NBI. We don't change that. The southbound uh, interface of FOCOM and NFO remains the ORAN one. What we're saying in there only is that as part of realizing these two FOCOM and NFO functions, we will be able to leverage some of the nephew APIs. And so that's why there is that nephew API adapter box in there. Um, so that that's the first deployment model. It's really SMO lives in one environment and O cloud is completely in a different environment. So that's where we have different clusters for each of these entities. And so now if we contrast that model with the second one, uh, slide six, yes, please, Tim. In this case, we say that SMO and O Cloud are still completely distinct entities, but they live in the same cluster. So this is a deployment model, I think that is also um, uh, plausible, right? If you have a, a smaller environment and only maybe a region deploying run over just a region, you might have that one management cluster for the region where you'll have all your SMO components, as well as maybe your, um, O Cloud IMS component. Now, I know it raises a lot of questions because the chicken and egg issue, right? SMO is supposed to uh, being able to feed that O Cloud. Um, well, actually, not really, because the O Cloud is going to born is going to raise on its own and then register to SMO. But the point here is to say that OCOM and FO, exactly as a previous slide, they can be implemented using uh, nephew functions or not, up to everyone. The interface northbound, southbound remains standard or run. Uh, but what we're saying here is that the IMS as part of one of the O clouds, not all of the O clouds, but one of the O cloud will be part of the same cluster as these FOCOM functions. So this is, I think, a plausible architecture. This is not going against any ORAN architecture. It, it, it gets a bit more into how to implement things. And I don't think ORAN is there. So that's why when talking with WIM, we believe that this is a plausible deployment scenario as well that Nephew should eventually support. And the last scenario is where we say now, um, we don't want any management cluster in the O cloud. We only want workload clusters. So in this case, the IMS functionality will reside in a workload cluster. That doesn't mean we don't have the nephew function to realize IMS. What it only means is that I can use that cluster where IMS is deployed as a deployment target for network functions. And I believe this is not, again, against a new run architecture. And this is another methods of, for instance, optimizing um, hardware capacity in a specific site and so on. So I'll, I'll stop here. I see a couple of rents coming up, but these are top of mind. When I was talking to Wim, I think these were slide six and seven, two of the consideration to say, why would we, Nephew, restrict where IMS runs? And that's um, this deployment model basically defines that it could actually run in different um, areas depending on use cases and needs. Okay, so let's go start going through these. I see four of them, right? So I just want to, guys. So we've got about thirty minutes, and hopefully we can come to conclusions on what we want to do. 
So let's try to keep it as concise as we can. But uh, Alok, we'll go with you first, and then we'll get Robbie, and then Seishu and Joey. Okay. Yeah. Thanks, Tim, and thanks, Alexis, uh, for the walkthrough. Uh, I think one common denominator in all the three options you have this SMO nephew management cluster circling both FOCOM and NFO, and then and I'm assuming since. ORAN doesn't say it has to come, I mean, these SMOS services or BSMO services come from the one single vendor. We could have one sort of deployment where NFO is being realized by NFO or FOCOM is being realized by NFO and the other component, which is FOCOM or NFO could come from some other vendor. And in that case, we will have like multi-vendor sort of a thing for the for the SMO services as well. So I mean this circling around the FOCOM and NFO coming from or, or deployed in one single cluster, are we mandating that part that it has to have one single cluster for serving both FOCOM and NFO? I, I, I see think that. You... Yeah. In 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 Nephew, the vendor is Nephew, right? So, so to some extent, it's not necessarily mandating. It's just that if this is how we want to realize our own architecture with Nephew, this is how it will look like. That doesn't mean um, other vendors have to follow necessarily that pattern. This is just the um, implementation blueprint of Nephew, right? Uh, because yeah, but... for Nephew, it makes sense to to have it that way, we not, we're not going to have two management cluster in SMO for Nephew because we don't need to. But it's possible that in a different deployment model, um, there is two if NFO and FOCOM are from different vendor. But the vendor right now in Nephew is quote unquote Nephew, right? So that's I think that's one of the reasons it's only one box and not multiple. Well, that's that's fine. I mean, like I mentioned, if we have another small uh, vendor providing the NFO, can Nephew FOCOM implementation can integrate with the other vendor NFO realization? Yes, That's because yes, okay. because all the northbound and southbound APIs are the ORAN um, standardized one. And so you Nephew can... is not implementing those northbound APIs, right? Well, uh, you slide five. Them. Yeah, exactly. So, so you can swap any components the way you want. Absolutely. Yeah. So, in 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 this slide five, how I took it is nephew doesn't implement the north of Focom or north of NFO, right? That that's my understanding at least. We're just providing the API adapters, which is. Uh, uh, as a plugin to for common NFO. Correct. Okay. Then another comment, uh, I'll make it rather quick. On slide six, you have one single management cluster. I mean, it, this doesn't align with the ORAN architecture to me at least, because why I'm saying you have this one single management cluster, which is fulfilling FOCOM as well as the IMS, and that becomes a proprietary interface between the FOCOM and the IMS because that is coming from one single vendor and we don't even need to show the O2 IMS and the O2 DMS in that case. That's I... basically one single proprietary deployment realized by Nephew, right? I, I disagree. So we could have Nephew being that management cluster and I could take Ericsson FOCOM and I could take um, Wind River IMS, and both of them could be deployed in that same Nephew management cluster. And the only way they will work together if both support the O2 IMS interface, right? So this is really, we need to but stick to these not, standard interfaces. Yeah, we should not then call it a one single management cluster, which is provided by Nephew, because as you said, I could have Wind River provided FOCOM and Nephew provided IMS, then how would they fit in one single platform, which is called as Nephew Management Cluster? 
Well, I mean, because Kubernetes is multi. Kubernetes yeah, is multi-tenant, yeah. right? And, yeah, and yeah. sorry, go ahead, Ravi. Yeah, <clears throat> no, I no, I had similar uh, comments, um, but I think this kind of implementation exists, particularly for smaller deployments. And then I think the the comment Alexis made was that okay, I was also visualizing it from a, from a from a centralized deployment. IMS though it's shown in the whole cloud. It's it's more from a logical perspective, but the deployment would be more centralized. In that case, it's an internal interface within the cluster, so need not actually be conforming to standards. Uh, but uh, but I think this probably these kind of deployments exist. Uh, but considering that you don't have a standardized O2 IMS uh, uh, yet, where you could actually have uh, you know where interoperability is not a concern, it's all a single vendor implementation. No, I didn't follow that. There is no standardized O2 IMS interface. What do we mean by that? No, so, I mean, today, as I said, today, we don't have a mature O2 IMS interface where you could actually have multiple cloud providers kind of uh, um, um, uh, being managed by the SMO. So current implementations, I think, is like more, more or less everybody has their own infrastructure management systems, but probably they are more centralized. You just have the CAS in the in the um, in the in the cell sites or the physical sites, and it's being managed. Though it wouldn't scale because you're limited by this by the capacity of the single IMS system. That's the reason you want to kind of scale out IMS in certain decentralized manner. It will be kind of but yeah, as you said, this seems to be leaning towards that uh, proprietary kind of implementation. But as Alexis yeah. put there, you could still have a standardized thing and still realize it if you want to to think so. Yeah. So to me, to me, the option one, which is shown in the slide five, looks more aligned with the ORAN architecture, right? And then the, the one which six slide or, or the slide seven showing is, yeah. This to me at least sounds like a proprietary, but yeah, I, I think we can, we can add some more explicit information and to make it more clear, but yeah, thank you. Yeah, the, the point, Thank you, Alok. And the point for slide six and seven is to to say that the goal in Nephew is to realize the Oran architecture. So slide five is easy for us to under, I mean, is easier for us to understand because it maps more one-to-one -one with the Oran architecture or closer to the Oran architecture. Slide six and seven, they start introducing some realization specific um, architecture in terms of where things reside, I don't think there is anything in ORAN mandating against this slide six and seven architecture, but it's not things that we commonly discussed. And and and, and I was the first uh, uh, having some difficulties with them, but the more I discuss about them, the more I believe from a nephew standpoint, they are uh, valid models. Um, okay, so okay, uh, so think, let's uh, let's let's go get. So, Robbie, do you have a, a question that hasn't been answered? So I'll get you. Next. Yeah, no, this is again on seven. I saw the, the 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 thread in the morning, the updates on the thread. It's only that my concern is putting DMS in the IMS, uh, in that uh, in that in that box in the cloud nephew workload. The reason why I'm saying that is because whenever we talk about, you know, there's a differentiation between management cluster and workload cluster. You prime the workload cluster for certain deployments. Management clusters don't require Intel Co kind of, you know, uh, kind of, uh, uh, kind of uh, you don't need to patch it with all kinds of other, you know, CNIs or uh, kernel modules. Yeah, but they, so all they're saying there is that they want to be able to deploy workloads. So I want to deploy a, you know, a DU maybe. Yeah, but I was saying that, you know, when they talk about control plane, management plane and actual uh, network services, in, you know, like Oran, I, I'm not sure anybody would put a DMS there. Uh, it, there'll be a clear delineation. This are probably vanilla Kubernetes clusters. The other ones are having all kinds of uh, telco updates there. Um, so, so, so if I understand just, it yeah, correctly, yeah. if I understand you correctly, Robbie, is that you just don't think that really uh, in slide seven, uh, that that's really not a very useful uh, deployment yeah. because you don't think the workloads will be deployed in that. Yeah, exactly. That that my, my I think that would be the more practical scenario. Yes. But I okay. I I don't want to rule it out because I think there are use cases and maybe some private 5G use cases where it's a very minimal type of footprint. 
where you could have this type of deployment. So I don't want to rule it out necessarily, but I understand what you're saying, Ravi. And I think as Alok mentioned, we just need to put proper disclaimers on these, on these deployment models. It's not all of them that we need to do. It's just that the goal here is just to open the eyes that we have various ways to implement ORAN. And Nephew will probably, because that's another thing for after, what, what exactly we want in R3, we'll have to discuss, but at least we can start planting the seed that depending on the use case, you can have different type of models. Yeah, private 5G, I agree. Private 5G, then it'd be like, I would assume that it'll be a single cluster where you have the control management and the kind of user plane kind of uh, functions or even 5G over and functions all into one. But if you separate it down to the clusters by saying that, okay, I want to separate this management from the workload, then it's unlikely that you might see a deployment in the other end. It is, it is more, as I said, uh, yeah. I mean, you could probably put those kind of disclaimers saying that this could be for okay. private 5G or something. So like let's, let's get to say you, uh, then we'll get to Joey. <clears throat> If there's anything yeah, I mean, else. Like... Most of the topics are discussed. Just one question on this thing. On one side, on the on the left hand side, you are saying it's OCloud Nephew workload cluster. On the right hand side, we are saying Nephew workload cluster. I think it is. Oh, still that's a mistake. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah. that's, a, that's, I mean, a, that's just... an oversight. Yes, what should yes, it be? Uh, what should it be? It should be bo both should be OCloud, right? Both of them are OCloud. There's no okay. differentiation between them. That's one. Correct. And second thing is, and second thing is uh, DMS. When you're saying again, it shows uh, distributed DMS between these clusters. Uh, again, uh, broadly speaking, again, most of the other topics are discussed here. Again, broadly I'm speaking that when you talk about IMS and DMS co-located, there are issues with that too. Um, though they are not discussed on the Orient Alliance part of it, but this specific thing where you have IMS and DMS co-located, right? The entire part of having a, a differentiation between the management and the workload is to make sure that we have the control plane versus data plane also. I mean, uh, we started back from SD-WAN and coming all the way here. Again, I don't want to get into details of it. So I see it to be a little, uh, I mean, reinventing the wheel. I don't, I'm not saying reinventing the wheel, but again, we are going back to the basics of it where you know, we are clubbing up both the things in, as part of the management and workload together. So you're talking about advantage of it, but I see more disadvantages than advantages. Again, let's not preach it. I, I will put it this way, guys. I think let's document that this is not a preaching. This is a possibility of from where Nephew is coming from, but not a, a solution to, Nef to ORAN. Hello? Yeah, yeah, we you're... can hear you, Sashu. I think this is fine. We, we can add these disclaimers. I'm, yeah, I'm okay yeah, adding yeah. disclaimers. I don't want to rule out the deployment model. Let's, I think, let's get, uh, these disclaimers in place to properly, um, you know, share. You, you mentioned disadvantage. I mentioned some advantage. I think yeah, yeah, some yeah. of the work we should be doing is capture these things to help mm -hmm. the reader uh, better understand what we mean. And um, and and I think again, also this is a first step, right? It doesn't yeah, yeah, mean yeah, it's exactly. not going to evolve. No, no, exactly. That's the point which I'm saying. That this is this is these ideas are good. But let's not make it as a standard. I mean, Nephew is not for building standards. We are just looking at the possibilities of it, uh, of implementation Correct. using a platform. Yes. I'll using put a it platform, as a platform. That's important. Right. right, right. So that is should go. I mean, we are seeing Nephew as a platform, not as a product. That should come but, very but clear. But guys, we, we do have, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to just tell you right now, we have mm -hmm. to define, we cannot, we cannot have permutations ad, ad nauseum, right? We're going to have to focus on what permutations we want to realize in release three or release four, release five. And we want to do probably get the, you know, the, the most common ones, right? First, and the more esoteric ones, second or third, right? So exactly, Tim, uh, to that point, the first one is where we can pick it up. I mean, that's the easiest one to start with. And that's a, that's the most relevant one from more an alliance part of it, right? So the first one is actually a good pick. This part of it might be we require to go through some cycles. Once we prove the first one, then I think the remaining part of it can fall in place. Again, as I said, these are different possibilities that are possible from a platform perspective. That is where the, we are talking about the plug and play. We are talking about all the other advantages of uh, I mean, uh, intent driven and cloud native and other stuff at all. So yeah, sure. Uh, I like it, but okay. I'm just telling you that we, we have to take it with the word of I mean, word of caution. That's important. Crawl, crawl walk one, right? So yeah, big, okay. So Joey, thanks, you're next. Yeah, yeah, thanks. Most of my questions have been answered. So just very quick clarification then. If on slide five, uh, Alexis, uh, in the full com and NFO, you have, yeah, the nephew 
API adapters. Is that the case then for the implementations on six and seven? You just haven't put them in, or is there something? Different yeah, yeah, there? I just Car I haven't got there yet. We're okay. Yep. Yeah, okay. I just, I, that, that's what I thought. I just wanted to clarify in case. I'll, I'll, I'll other... make them all pretty yeah. later. Okay. <laughs> Thanks. That's a good point. Thanks, Joey. I don't know if Wim is on the call. Wim, I just defended six and seven for you. So if you're on the call, I want to add something. Uh, feel free to chime in. Elsa, I think we're good, uh, Tim. Yeah. When also, it's perhaps we can. I we can. I mean. Sorry, uh, guys. I, I again, I'm, I'm, I'm chiming in without raising the hand. Sorry for that. Just one quick update. Perhaps this one is is something which is very closer to what we are we have been talking in standard bodies, right? We can start there, and two and three, or maybe more than that. I can even think of other use cases which can come up. Those things we can keep it in in the bucket list, as I say. So start from something which is more accurate or more closer to accuracy from from the Oran Alliance part. The remaining part can be in the pipeline. That well, we okay, so let's it. let's just let's just do this then, guys. Does does anyone have any other questions on on these deployments, uh, three deployment scenarios? And I'm just trying to trying to move this thing through, right? Okay. So I don't see any raised hands. All right. So then, my question yeah. is. Sorry, oh, uh, sorry, to just raise hand. So I just wanted to. Ask one is this, I'm sorry, is this Bali? You're coming up as PMO. Yes, admin. yes. I it just yeah, got yeah. me as an uh, yeah, Zoom okay. admin. Just, just, just wanted to make sure. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay. Thanks. Yeah, thanks to, yeah, yeah. We can make out your voice, Bala. That's good. Yeah, thanks, Aju. Hey, how are you? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, uh, so Alexi, when we say the Nephew API adapter in both the cases, uh, both in FO and FOCOM, uh, can you please give me one liner? Uh, what do you mean by that? Um, sure. So it's Northbound API is going to be whatever the um, uh, Aura and SMO API are going to be defined for as NFO and FOCOM, right? So we take the standard. The Southbound API is either, um, it's the O2 interface, IMS or DMS. The implementation between the Northbound request that we receive towards the Southbound can happen using the Niftio functions and the Nifio controllers. And so that's what we call here Nifio API adapter. Yep. Okay, so basically we are not changing any of the APIs, southbound or northbound. They are going to be compliant to ORAN. So the implementation Correct. is uh, Nifio, whatever we want to do internally. Okay. Exactly, right. but this is because we want here to, to have an architecture for Nifio implementation. This is, this is the reason why it's uh, captured this way. Okay, cool. thank you. Yeah. Okay. All right, so let's do this, guys. So let me ask you a question. So we have three deployment architectures that we've um, kind of shown. For release three, the first release, does anyone ob uh, object to going for what's in slide five? I don't see any raised hands. I don't see any raised hands. Okay, good. Now, again, remember release three, we're done in June, okay? On slide six, do we want to attempt that in release three? If, um... I would say, yeah, I would say no. I think we should, we should tackle iteratively, yeah. probably one at a time. Yeah, so I, I agree. If... I agree, brother. Yeah. Okay. If, Does uh, anyone, have, Alexis? Let's let's hear. Yeah, I'm phone. sorry. I, I wanted to get to raise my hand, but I I failed and uh, and I started talking. Um, I I definitely agree with the comments. Um, I and but this is my hope that we can get back to Sig one and and tell them, look, the slide five. This is the deployment model that we believe we could achieve in R two. Slide six R3. and seven are deployment. Uh, yeah, R three. Slide six and seven are deployment model that we discussed that we believe are potentially valid. valid deployment model, but we need to put more thoughts on the disadvantage, advantage, and so on. Okay. And, and so we're going to continue in R3 building this deployment model value while um, helping SIG2 achieve a uh, deployment model, you know, slide five. That would be my opinion. So this would be put as a, uh, as an R4 type of thing that we'd be going for? R3 well, we defined? Have, you know, R3 
seek to implement yeah. uh, slide five while we work on these things in R3. So we still work on these two, slide six and seven in R3 in this group, but yeah. then we refine slide five and we define the proper um, you know, requirement and so on. So seek two can work, but we already start planting the seed that there are two other deployment models that we discussed already that we believe have some uh, potential of uh, being uh, supported in FEO, and that's the slide six and seven. So if we need to focus R3, there is one, but then folks are aware that there is also other deployment models that we definitely want to contemplate going further. Okay, uh, so let me, okay. So guys got to do me a favor and raise some hands so I, so I can get you. Um, so, so what is on the table is a request to say, hey, look, I just call it uh, define, uh, but for release three, we would implement five and we would work on uh, what the implications are for uh, six and seven. So uh, I see, uh, Seishu, I think you had your hand up first. Yes. Uh, yes, for release five, I mean, so release three, slide five will be the, the candidate. Uh, I, I, I agree to that. I reiterate that with Bala and Lexi and team you too. The other point I was just thinking, again, uh, again, thinking out loud here, perhaps it's also good to take these six and seven to operators because they are the ones who are deploying this, right? And know they did not vendors, but operators are the deciding factors. Perhaps it's also good to take this uh, to a larger audience and have the reviews as part of SIG or wherever possible, right? Um, maybe we get better solutions there or we get we get uh, the validations there. Again, I'm, I'm thinking out loud because they are the right guys to 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 take this uh, uh, feedback and give us the feedback also, right? Okay. To obtain feedback. Yeah, and that, that could be a point we can also raise to SIG. When you go back to sit, uh, feedback, yeah, we yeah, can yeah. also say that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, perfect, yeah. Definition and feedback. I have no issue with exactly. that. Exactly. 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 Yeah, that's a great point, Sashu. You know, or getting the getting the inputs from the actual from the actual implementers. Yeah, thank you so much. Here from uh, there's a saying, right? Here from horse's mouth. <laughs> exactly. Absolutely. Yes. Yeah, that's a great point. So, uh, I I agree to everything uh, everybody said here, like what Alexis said uh, and what Sashu said, uh, but I just want to uh, level set one thing from a SIG two perspective. Uh, let's let's not assume that in R four everything in slide five will be implemented. Sorry, R three and everything. R three, R three, yeah. Yes, R three, everything. So R three definitely so, the work will start. So based on the amount of work, based on the available capacity, the to realize slide five, it might take multiple releases. Oh, well, hang it on. May be done in one yeah. release. So I just wanted to level set. Yeah, we, we 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 realize that for that all this is is a crawl walk run and we're going to get to objectives hopefully if we can agree that slide five is the target right for release three that we're going to implement we can get to the objectives next right and i think then we'll start yes, clearing yes. some of the stuff out following so, so that's why for, from, from the other slides perspective i absolutely like the idea of alexis like from this thing can work in parallel when the sig three uh, during the r3 time frame to you know solidify slide six and seven, but they may not come in the subsequent releases. That's the level set I want to, that's the expectation I want to put. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Okay, yeah. I got it, sure. Thank you. All right, Ravi, you got the you got the last one of this and then maybe we can move to objectives, guys. So go ahead. Yeah, Ravi. I think just, yeah, to avoid, you know, uh, kind of confusion to folks who are looking at this and looking at, okay, are there three different architectures? I would say call slide five as the integration architecture. And six seven as you know uh, deployment variants or something like that, uh, so that it is it is still kind of to if there is if there is something to say that it's not agreeing with the main de deployment architecture, then we have to correct it. But six or seven as deployment variants, uh, then we know okay there's one architecture, one view that we can always uh, that we have to elaborate on. The other ones are kind of more variants of it. Like this? Yeah, I would say something like that. Or deployment variant would also be okay. Oh, um, sorry. All right. 
yeah so that that would be better as well yeah i think yeah we have to fix that uh, api adapter in focom in f2 so that's important yeah 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 i'll get them yep i'm just getting yeah. getting the topic does anyone object to saying that guys okay all right so uh, let's let's go back so this is what we're agreeing green to for for release three uh you know with these guys being part of the define right okay uh let's go look at the um bear with me uh let's go look at some objectives then right and so i started to seed uh seed some objectives with uh these themes hey robbie could you also do me a favor could you go back and look at your comments on on slide on the slides and if, you, if they're resolved, could you resolve them uh, for me? I would appreciate it. That way don't, they don't keep showing up on the slides if they're resolved. Oh, sure. I, I, I mean, probably this is sure. a really, I, I did it a long time back. I wouldn't revisit yeah, yeah, this. Yeah. I will do it's, that. It's okay, it's okay if you could, that's that's all. Yeah, I will do that, no problem. Yeah. All right, so, all right guys. So so this again was, was a seed for it, right? And what we wanna do is ask ourselves for release three, right? at least for release three, maybe there's a release four, what is it that we want to do, right? And so um, I think we're looking at uh, the, the first item was was some of the stuff that we were doing now, mapping the ORAN architecture to Nepio uh, in order to get this clarity um, on it. Uh, and, and then we want to look at what the OSC ORAN specifications and the OAI plans are for. We're gonna try to do that later this week. Uh, and then look at the various ORAN functions themselves, including what's in the SMO. So that's the stuff that we've been kind of doing, right? I don't know if that still needs to be an objective, but that was what we talked about. Uh, but then we get into the things that we want to see, right? And so, uh, so the question is, tell me what these objectives should be, right? And, and if you could just raise your hands, look what's there. If we don't want something, we'll delete it. If we think that there's something in here that we want to see uh, that, and I'm trying to focus on release three at this point. Uh, if there's something that's going for release four, we can we can note that as well. But let's let's see if we can get what we want this thing finally to look like in release three without looking at the user stories to support them. We'll get into that next, right? So uh, I, I put, so I'm just going to leave it to that. Let people read that, digest it, and tell me what you want to change, add, or delete. We can go through each bullet if you want and talk about them, I don't care. Tell me how you guys wanna run it. Okay, we got hands, okay, good. <laughs> All right, Bala, we're gonna do it in order. Bala, Sarah, uh, Alok, um, yeah. Vish, uh, and Robbie, go ahead. First of all, I really want to appreciate and thank you for doing this. You know, you've been very methodical and uh, uh, not only the other slide, but this one as well. Uh, but right off the bat, based on the uh, uh, the, the velocity of uh, the execution uh, in, in, the, in the last two releases, I can say that uh, this, uh, this is a great objectives, but I'm pretty sure this all will not fit into release three. That, that's, that's the first thing that came into my mind because I'm pretty sure there are multiple, uh, in addition to RAN integration, uh, uh, obviously we need to figure out from the SIG1, what other work streams are going to get into the release. Uh, uh, for example, we have introduced, uh, at, at this point of time, obviously the OAI is already there in the release too. Uh, and then a free 5 GC is there, is there anything else of, from the other POCs, for example, there is SDK, there is policy, there is service assurance. There are so many other streams going on. Uh, and then we have, the, obviously, ORAN is also a big component there. Uh, so based on how much work comes from the other streams also into release three, and based on the capacity and the velocity of the last two releases, including this one, I can say maybe uh, uh, we may have, this, uh, this is absolutely great, but we may have to prioritize this. And then we had to come up with what exactly we want. What is the mini, what is the MVP for R three, and what is the nice to have for R three? So that that's the, that's the first comment I have. Uh, other than that, I think what you wrote absolutely makes great sense. Thank you so much. Sure. Okay. 
All right. So I lock. I, I'm sorry. I I lost the the. There's the hands up and hands down. So I'm just going to the next one. So I'll lock. <laughs> Go ahead. Yeah. Thanks, Tim. Uh, yeah, I think it's a good starting point. Uh, but maybe I would reiterate the the comment which I made before on the bullet two. So I think it's it's fair to do a POC to realize the FOCOM in a four related functions uh, using the NIFI enablers. But I think we can still need to keep the clear demarcations between the two functions, right? Because ultimately they are the two SMOSs as per the ORAN architecture, right? And there could be scenarios where two different vendors are providing these two functions. And so there should be a clear demarcation and an interface between the two uh, through which they can, um, they support the multi-vendor basically, right? So okay. that, that was my, my comment on that. Yeah, I think from a standpoint of uh, where we're at right now on that piece of it, Alok, um, I, I take that as a note, but I don't think it's necessarily relevant to this particular piece of it. So when we get to the user stories, we'll, we'll, we'll start seeing some of that, right? Good thing is those user stories that I put came strictly from, straight from uh, the starting, the seed was from um, the um, O-Cloud use cases. So, okay. Yeah, but... But, but yeah, quickly maybe. <clears throat> the nephew orchestration function, I mean, this I think takes us back to that or more, uh, or I don't remember now the abbreviation, but that oh, is. Oh, no, 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 no. We're, we weren't using those. It was NFO and FOCOM. Was okay, so then if it is two clear, distinct functions or services, then then I'm okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're, they're distinct. At least they were when I checked them. <laughs> All right, and so, um, and so, uh, Robbie, I think you're next. Yeah, I'm, I was looking at okay, next step, right? Okay, now we have a, kind of a certain consensus in the architecture, but if I look at the APIs, okay, SMOS APIs, we don't have anything there yet. It's still probably in a technical report stage in ORAN, and O2 IMS, there is something. I mean, we have inventory, some subscription alarms, and FM, and and some of those. Uh, uh, APIs defined. Um, so, I mean, when we talk about a POC, right, I mean, uh, uh, I mean, seeing that we, these are all O2 use cases, at least a good starting point will be, okay, let's look, look at the use cases that we have in working group six, Focom has inventory, oh, software yeah. management, all that. But then what yeah. do you do after that, right? So how do you, how yeah, do so, you? So again, what I think, you know, I'll speak for Alexis on this thing, right? So, um, <clears throat> We looked at, and you'll see these in the use cases. So the use cases will show each one of these things. But the the idea was uh, on the O2 IMS, there are uh, some defined uh, interfaces. We've actually saw that um, in, um, by the way, uh, in the last, um, oh geez, the the last ORAN meeting, they did a demonstration of uh, the O2 IMS interface and provided feedback to the group. Uh, they being, I think it was uh, Fujitsu doing it with uh, Wind River, I think. And, and they showed some things, right? They showed some uh, cluster setup, some inventory. Um, and so uh, I think what Alexis wanted to do, right, specifically for release three, when we talk about this POC was, and you'll see this in the use cases again, guys, um, is uh, to say, okay, let's exercise what we kind of know. Let's exercise some reporting of inventory that's there. Let's exercise the uh, the cluster setup because that's what we can utilize the NEPIO, uh enablers for that. And so there's a set of use cases through there. But the point that we're trying to show now is say, let's let's do a POC of the IMS using NEPIO enablers, of, of, of the DMS using these NEPIO enablers. Let's have a POC of F FOCOM and SMO, right? And do these proof of concepts that, that are shown using the use cases that are in the next piece of this, right? So the question will be to the group is, is that too much? Is that, should we cut that down? Should we not show IMS enablers? IMS using enablers, how do we want to do this, right? And um, that's where I was trying to drive it, Ronnie. Yeah, no, no, I, I agree with that. No, I know that. I, I'm aware of that demo, but I think it was shown in the plug fest too. Um, and, um, and uh, yeah, I think those APIs again all are imperative APIs. Cluster API 
what is being discussed with Alexis and, and you know all the biomass provisioning. That's something that is probably a natural fit for this. But uh, yeah, I mean, we could start. What I'm saying is that we don't have this MOS API yet, so we should start from saying that okay, we have we create some uh, some uh, some CIDs or something for Foucault well, and, I'll, and, I'll and, and derive I'll out of that. Yeah. Yeah. So so here's the here's what I was thinking, right? Particularly around the SMO, because the SMO decomp it's going to be 2026, guys before the SMO decomp, the SMO group thinks that they're going to have a stage three API set defined for the SMOs, right? So it's going to be a couple of years, right? I'm okay with that. We do have a partner with OSC. That's why Seshu's here and I'll let Seshu speak to it. But for my, 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 my idea is that for, at least for Nephio, we're just trying to show how we're using the Nephio enablers within FOCOM uh, in order to actuate the, those southbound interfaces for the use cases that we want. Whatever, whatever uh, OSC has, you know, for integrating uh, FOCOM and NFO and that stuff on those particular services, we'll just use that, right? We'll just call it a day there. I'm not going to try to invent that wheel. I'll let OSC invent that world. Um, Seishu, I, I don't know if you feel differently about that, but I was less yep. worried about the, the northbound because you, you're going to have to take care of that bad boy yourself when they come out. Yes, so I'm dealing with them day in, day out, by the way. I reason why, I mean, by the way, Tim, you are just snatching words from my mouth. I raise a hand for the same. The point I was getting is uh, don't reinvent the wheel. Uh, let's start from what we have at the bay. I know we are dreaming big, but let's, because uh, guys, I, I'm dealing this every day, right? I've deal, deal, deal with it even in the ONAP days, and Alexi was my partner in, in crime out there. Now I'm doing it in the OSC too. So let's start from what we have at the bay. Let's try to integrate with that. I would also put ORAN, not just SMO, even the INF project, right? That is critical here uh, to, to start with. And then we will see piece by piece. I, I'm with Bala for that. You know, uh, there's a saying, and most of you are Indian, so you know, elephant cannot be eaten. If you want to eat elephant, you have to eat piece by piece. Right. We are talking of that here. Because we are talking of a scale of, of, of a problem statement which is huge. So let's take piece by piece. Let's go it iterative way. Uh, let's let's prioritize it, put them into different buckets, take them piece by piece, and then integrate with what we already have as part of the other open source communities, or NSCINF as one of them. Uh, let's leverage what we have as part of it and then take it on. So I think it should be only evaluation. If you want to do the dump of everything one shot, I think it will be too tough for us to complete it. And that's what even Bala is sounding, right? Even R3 alone cannot be fitting the entire stuff. So we should be very careful of what we choose and what we... Uh, Try to bite. The bite size should be very clearly defined. So, uh, yeah, I'll say that let's not reinvent the wheel again and 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 take whatever is available on the open source side of it and and go piece by piece. That will be my solution. Again, okay. I'll, I'll I'll tell you why I'm saying it because Foccom, NFO, these are the two things which we have been solving even in the OSC side of it, and it is taking a lot of time because we are seeing that there is a parallel development already happening in the in the stand specs. We have guys coming from a lot of thoughts, a lot of process and all, and we are trying to find the alignment between both two. So um, with that, uh, you know, the, the experience from, I'm, I'm getting it from there and what as Tim just said, uh, let's see what is, what is the low-lying fruit in that. Let's try to cut that first and then we'll go the entire way. That's my solution on this. Okay. All right. And so Vish, Vishal? Yeah, yeah uh, I was having the same... Uh... Question which Shishu was answering. So just adding adding a point to the Shishu's answer. Uh, for NFO and Focom, uh, uh, as we we have to look out the open source solutions, right? So, uh, so OSC may have uh, provide the Focom base. They have the solution for Focom, but then for NFO, we we have the options for owner based solutions. Like uh, as Shishu knows, uh, the mm -hmm. SO can fit for the NFO. So we yeah. we have to find out. The, the solutions where we can easily uh, uh, integrate the adapters, the NFU adapters, right? The, the two adapters which you have for the slide on slide file that you have uh, shown the same adapters. So, uh, so I guess the question that I have to the team is looking at this, do we want to, do we want to, to tackle the FOCOM NFO first? Or do we want to tackle, uh, or, or can we do a POC? So I see, I see it as three POCs, guys, really, right? You know, three potential POCs, right? One is, or a POC using the IMS enablers, right? 
that's this this one here, a POC with the FOCOM, and then just using the DMS with the CRs that will identify for the um, uh, with for using the K8S profile that's there. So the question is, can those be realized in one release? Vishal and Seishu? I think everything yeah. begins with the inventory. So we have to go with the number two and then number three, I guess. Because DMS requires to home uh, workload, right? Yeah. So mm -hmm. maybe maybe we maybe we prioritize the we go to the use cases and we prioritize the use cases that come out of these things, right? Maybe that's the best way of doing this. And then we can see if there's, see if, and let that drive what the, what these objectives will end up being. H how many of these objectives we can do based upon those priorities. So that make, does that make sense guys? Yes, yes, Tim, I think to your point, yes. I think you summarize it well, three POCs. I think we had to pick the best one and start with that. Okay, so let's, let's just drop down real quick. Uh, and I'm gonna go into, uh, what I did is I broke these down into tracks, by the way, guys. Um, um, so, mm -hmm. so here, what I did is I went through, I said, okay, if I had these objectives, if I want to do this, right, that's, that's here, um, I'm going to look at different tracks for this, right? And the two tracks that, the tracks that come up is the OCloud enablement track, right? And we can look at the use cases there. So, uh, there's IMS registration, there's reporting of inventory, there's querying of the OCloud information that's there, there's a create of a cluster, delete a cluster, and there's the instantiate and terminate on the DMS of the NFs, right? So the question will be is what is it that we want of these? What do we want to, is there a priority that we want to have? And then on the um, NF track, these are the deployment of the NFs. So um, I, I guess the OCloud enablement, the SMO have to go kind of lockstep, right? You know, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but um, so talk to me. How do you want to do this, Seishu? Yeah, thanks. Uh, actually, this is right. I, in fact, whatever you wrote it on here, there are eight steps, if I'm rank, uh, counting them right, or, or seven or eight steps. They yeah. themselves are, 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 are a sagas. They are not even epics, they are sagas, right? Because uh, when we talk about registration and instantiation and, and going with that, there are a lot of stuff which we have to take into consideration because uh, when you're talking of a cloud, right? Uh, believe me, it seems very simple when we start with, but there are a lot of ifs and buts which we have to uh, stitch them together and go into that. Each of them will have multiple epics and each of the epics will have multiple stories also. So doing from a top-down approach, it looks very simple, but when you're doing bottom-up, that's exactly what Oran has evolved, right? Oran, guys, Believe me, and those of you who are with ORAN for long, I am not a long term with ORAN, but I have understood it, uh, how it works. The evolution of ORAN is from bottom up, not top down, right? So they are solving the problems which are at ground level. I mean, I'm saying at the physical layer, then they're going with L1, L2, L3, and then going up. So that's how the approach is. Now we are coming a reverse way of it where we are saying, we have a great platform to build the orchestration and automation part of it with all those, you know, the, the native equities of, of, of uh, cloud native and other stuff. We're coming from top down. So we should be making sure that we don't miss or we don't uh, take certain things which are granted. Let's, let's try to dig into the details and make sure that we do it. Hence, I was actually reiterating that whatever is already available and that's what Vishal, uh, I see Bala, Tim, everyone agreeing to that. Let's try to reiterate that whatever is available will pick up that. And that is where we should be very careful of what we pick. So this should be the background. So uh, Tim, again, uh, not Tim might take much time. I would say first, first of it would be to see what is available for us. Take that piece and int integration with that is the first point which we'll start with. And that's where the adapters, right? Nephew adapters will be playing critical. So okay, even so before we me... even before start with the this use case itself, I would say there should be a preparation phase, right? There should be one technical uh, story, I would say, or technical epic, which should be preparing us for the environment. That is, I think, will be critical piece to start with. Once we have that ready, and once we have the clear picture of it, then we can actually have other other pieces will be falling better. That's my suggestion. So the other way you... to look. Yeah, sorry. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. No, no, no I was just uh, trying to uh, comment on uh, this issue. Is that the other way to look at it is with within the OSC, 
look, what is the maturity of, one, of each one of these topics? Because this is this is that put at a logical level, and this is how probably when yeah, yeah. the I2O to IMS uh, specs are also evolving in a certain sense. So I'm assuming that because within Oran, generally you wait for the stage three, and then you kind of realize it in as in some implementation. So if, if there is mm. uh, if there is if you if you can if we can level set within what the maturity in OSC is with respect to these implementation that would be this good logical starting point. exactly so uh, that is what i'm saying uh, ravi uh, we don't need all step by step of it we can understand the entire the scenario of it the 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 stage where we are i mean understanding the play playbook before entering into play right so we should actually have a technical story where we understand all these playbooks then enter the arena also take the other projects which are there not just the smo alone but the inf which is also there both these projects are critical for us to integrate right so understand that and then play around. So I'm saying let's understand that part, but that piece first, and then make the integration pieces, right? Ravi, exactly to your point. So I'm 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 lost though. Uh, so I just want to make sure I understand what you're talking about, Stacey. Mm -hmm. So uh, again, I, I will tell you guys this is that when we talked when we saw the demo, right, uh, in in October at the October ORAN meeting, this was the this was pretty much the demo. I there might I, I don't know if there's anything that they they probably didn't do the inventory updates, right? But the rest of it was I think part of that demo piece of it. Certainly the last four of it was part of that, right? And they had to do the registration itself. So so my I think the point that I'm trying to make is is that these use cases have been already shown, right? Or or many of these use cases have been shown. Um if not all of them, have already been shown to the industry. So there might be some of these use cases, I would assume, that 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 OSC has, right? And I think we can have an honest conversation starting from what we already have and then yeah. using those use cases that you have already in place, yeah. right? Yeah. And and then you could say what those are, say to you. I mean, I, I don't care what, the, you know, I, I, I do care, but I, I think it's really we have to start with what we have and then mm -hmm. what I call nephioize them, but you know, utilize the nephio framework, you know, to to enable those those already known use cases, right? So if there's a set that you have, Seishu, that you already have with an OSC yep. and the IMS, you could you list do me a favor and list those out, right? Sure. Uh, and then we can start with those. I don't have an issue with that. Um, and then then you know, if Alexis or or someone that's coming from the O cloud side says, hey, look, we, I really want to try to show that. We can we can look at those priorities. But I thought that that's, this would be a minimum of what you already had in the OSC, because this is what I saw other, uh, at least in the other demos. So if there's something yeah. missing there or something needs better described, then certainly we could, you know. Maybe, that's exactly maybe what I'm saying. Then. So, yeah, so that's exactly what I'm saying. Sorry, uh, Bala, just one one comment. Yeah, and then sure. I'll, go I'll ahead, go ahead, sure. Sorry, because the question was to me. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, Tim, yeah, that's exactly what I'm saying. Like inventory update, we don't have it, right? And from the SMO perspective, we don't have inventory very well defined yet. But what we have is is a disaggregated SMO. Let me put this. I think we were, we were also having discussion. You, me, and, and Sagar were having a discussion where I also said, right now, SMO is disaggregated. We want to have the transition between the IMS and the, and the and, or NFO, sorry. The forecom and NFO should be much more clearly defined and we have to prove it, right? That's one point which I'm I'm working on right now. You'll see it very soon coming out. By the way, I'm also also working on a plex first for 2023. That's okay. Uh, so so that let's do this. Let's do this, Sashi. Right. Let's I know that Alexis wants these because that's what he put in chat, right? For sure. So so but let's do this. Tell me what you currently have in OSC on this, right? And let's start with that. If you can, just make a make a slide and tell me what's an OSC, and we'll have this track this another one. So, guys, it's eleven, okay? And Vishwal, uh, I'm going to let you have the last question. Then I'm going to make a statement real quick. Go ahead. Vishwal. I think Bala was Bala was also saying something. Sorry. Oh, sorry, okay. But... Sorry, I was going by raised hand. Sorry. Yeah. yeah. Go ahead, so, Bala. So yeah, thanks, thanks, uh, session. Sorry for speaking in between. So uh, the the what do I miss? Create cluster and delete cluster. I don't think they are in the stage three, isn't it? They have a they have a template. They've got a concept of a cluster template that um, uh, that so, so again, I just want to what Alexis says you want to try to use. Are we are we are we are we only 
doing whatever is in stage three or are we doing uh, even some even in the work in progress if there's some there's some work in progress stuff that that uh, I think the there's some experimentation that uh, that as part of the cloud native TR that they want to go try to do. And correct me yes, if I'm wrong. Yes, one. Yeah, I just want to. Yes, yeah. definitely. Okay, if it is if it is so, yes, because they are not in stage three. That's right. Go ahead. Yeah. yeah. Go ahead, Vishal. Okay, Vishal. Just to add to uh, Shishu's comment, uh, from the OSC we do have the O2 uh, project as well. Uh, apart from the INF. So it is supporting some of the IMS uh, services and uh, O2DMS as well. So we can think of the O2DMS, O2 module as well. Yeah, good. Because again, give me give me what you have. I think we can start start with what we have, right? And then figure out, you know, where where we go from there. All right, guys. So it is afterwards. It's already two minutes after. Um, what I what I'm asking for. Um, uh, uh, let's see where we're at. Okay, so our next meeting is going to be on the 15th. Um, I'm going to try to, there's actually a, 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 a meeting that most people are going to be at, or not most people, but um, several of us are going to be at in, in, in uh, Boston. Uh, that actually, um, we've got a panel that goes right before this meeting. Is there someone that can host this meeting and try to come up with some user stories? If not, I'll try to host it because the panel ends like, 30 minutes before. Uh, sure, can, uh, it, one, one small, sorry, Alexi, one small question. Is it possible to skip that week? Because um, again, we I, can, I, we, we could skip the next week, but what we've said guys is again, um, we're trying to get back to network architecture with our list uh -huh. of defined objectives and user stories, right? Uh, by uh, December 1st, which puts us, you know, oh, we the got the 15th, time. the 22nd, 29th. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, the reason why yeah. I'm saying is because we the OA may have some discussions, right? After soon after our panel, so yeah. we don't want to. I mean, this one hour, so I don't want to miss that part where you know we are we are online and we are sorry we are actually at the spot and we we miss that part. That's the only thing I, I'm just trying to read. So, Tim, yeah. how so, about we postpone the meeting by a day or something like that? Maybe we can take it offline. All right, I'll try to yeah. I'll try to move the next meeting to the sixteenth and find a spot. You know, um, guys, if if we, does anyone have a problem with that? What we'll uh, either gee, cancel. Is, we're gonna we're yeah. either gonna have to cancel next week, or we're gonna yeah, have holidays to find a spot. too. I mean, uh, I'm yeah, just saying that's the vacations the, too. Yeah, yeah, I know, Diwali time. Two weeks. By the way, yeah, for <laughs> if for Indians, Diwali it is Diwali time, so a lot of vacations also. Yeah, <laughs> I I get it. I I get it, guys. I'm just telling you what we told network. That's why. That's why I've been every time I pulled this up, says guys, we only got this many more. <laughs> Is this December first? Now we made a commitment, so we're gonna have to do what we can to honor to that commitment. Um, Should we do it a day before uh, uh, Tim Tuesday? Would that make sense? Oh yeah, the day before uh, is good as well. And okay, be there on Tuesday, Wednesday I'll be gone. All right. So what I'll do is I'll go to the network. I'll, I'll go to the ORAN group, and I'll ask them. Uh, we're certainly going to have to cancel because I'm going to be kind of stuck. I think the, the Alexis and Seishu and me and we're all stuck next Wednesday around this. No, time actually, anyway. I'm not. So if needed, I can oh, no, facilitate you're not. the meeting. Oh, you can you can facilitate. Okay, I'll put it. Okay, I'll put it on the um, I'll put it on the uh, ORAN site. We'll try. We'll decide what to do for next week, right? Um, and then also for the 22nd. All right. So, but there's going to be some problems. In the meantime. Seishu, if you can give us the ambition, if you can give us the use cases that you have already implemented uh, in the OSC, we can start with that, right? Uh, and uh, that can be a starting discussion point, right? Um, if you can do that, just add it to that, add, sure, add I'll, a, I'll add a page to that wiki. And we do use, again, guys, we do use Slack to have these conversations. It's, it's how we came up with this other stuff. There's a lot of conversation back there. Again, we can have the conversations about the use case because I think once we prioritize them, then the objectives will 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 actually come out of uh, you know we can skinny down the objectives or we we say that these are the objectives we're going for for release three. Okay, so let's use the so Slack for this stuff because we only got a yeah. couple of weeks. So Vishal, uh, by the way, um, I'm just posting my phone number in case you want to reach out uh, so that we have less time so we can do the maximum of it. Slack somehow doesn't work for me, guys. I'm sorry for that. Uh, oh. But I'll try to I'll try to re recheck that. 
I've tried Slack before and it somehow gets stuck or it doesn't give me notifications. It only works okay. when I open it. Maybe I don't know what's wrong with me. You, and you, you can try it on phone also, it's issue. I mean, PC yeah, yeah, I tried that. I tried mobile app. So I'm just okay. posting my my this thing. So Thanks. yeah. Yeah. Okay. Sure. So we'll, we'll right, catch guys. up on that. And Alexi, you and me will we'll catch up on the WhatsApp just to be making sure we are on time. Sure. All right. Thanks. Appreciate it, guys. And we'll see you next time. week. Yeah. All right. Thank you. Bye-bye. Thanks. Bye. Thanks. Bye. Thanks. Bye. Thanks. Bye. Thanks. Bye. Thanks. Bye.